Hello everyone, welcome to today's presentation. In this video, we are going to discuss a question on Graham's law of diffusion. In an experiment, 60 cubic centimeters of oxygen diffused through a porous pot in 10 seconds and 100 cubic centimeters of chlorine diffused through the same porous pot in 30 seconds. If the density of oxygen is 1.25 grams per cubic centimeter, calculate the density of chlorine. Let us begin by stating Graham's law of diffusion. Now, the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density. That is at constant temperature and pressure. In the question we have here, we have two gases, that is oxygen and chlorine gas, whose rate of diffusion is to be compared here. And in order to apply Graham's law of diffusion to solve this, remember we are told to calculate the density of chlorine. We are given the density of oxygen as 1.25 grams per cubic centimeters. We are going to use this formula which is a variation of Graham's law still, that is Graham's law of diffusion. If we take the rate of diffusion of oxygen divide by rate of diffusion of chlorine gas that is the ratio of the rate of diffusion of oxygen to that of chlorine, then this should be equivalent to the square root of, now on the numerator we'll have the density of chlorine gas, all over now on the denominator we have the density of oxygen gas. In this formula, we are required to get the rate of diffusion for oxygen and the rate of diffusion for chlorine gas first. Now according to the question, if we are to get the rate of diffusion of oxygen, we are simply going to have this. We are given the volume for oxygen and the time it takes to diffuse. So we are going to have the rate as the volume, which is 60 cubic centimeters, divided by the time taken, which is 10 seconds. And this should give us a rate of 6 cubic centimeters per second. And the same will apply to the case of chlorine gas. And for chlorine gas, we have the volume as 100 cubic centimeter and it takes 30 seconds to diffuse so we'll have 100 cubic centimeters all over 30 seconds and this is 10 over 3 let me just express it as that 10 over 3 cubic centimeters per second in the question, we are also told that the density of oxygen is 1.25 grams per cubic centimeter. So let me have that density of oxygen is 1.25 grams per cubic centimeters. So in this formula here, we already have the rate of diffusion for oxygen, rate of diffusion for chlorine, and density of oxygen. What you are left with to determine is the density of chlorine there. So we are going to do our substitutions in this formula here. So we'll have the ratio of the rates of diffusion. So let's begin with for oxygen we have 6 cubic centimeters per second divided by the rate for chlorine which we are told is, or rather which we found as 10 over 3. 
and then to the right hand side we'll have the square root of so we'll have the density for chlorine gas all over the density for oxygen which we have as 1.25 grams per cubic centimeters so when you work out the left hand side 6 divided by 10 over 3 so that is 6 times 3 over 10 and that should be this is 18 over 10 that is 1.8 and then on the right hand side we have the square root of the density of chlorine gas over 1.25 we can square the left hand side and the right hand side and therefore when we square the left hand side 1.8 squared is 3.24 and then on the right hand side we'll have the density for chlorine gas all over 1.25 uh, if we have this over 1 for the sake of cross multiplication we'll have the density of chlorine gas being so we have 3.24 times 1.25 now from my calculator i was able to get 4.05 grams per cubic centimeters so this is the density of chlorine gas as had been required in the question now with this we come to the end of the solution to this problem i want to thank you for watching see you in the next video